Today I'm going to share with you one simple drill which will change your ball striking for the better, improve your golf game for every shot that you want to hit. Uh, it works very, very quickly and I'm going to go through the simple steps uh, to performing this drill in this video today. First, do me a huge favor, click the subscribe button below, hit the bell to accept notifications uh, so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. And I'm going to share with you the simplest ways to improve your golf game. And my goal, as always, is to help you improve immediately. So watching this video will help you improve. So before we get to the drill, uh, just a couple points that really aid in helping you improve your game very quickly. And number one, learn to set up on your impact plane. A lot of people don't understand planes and angles and stuff like that, so I keep it as simple as possible. The bottom line is that when we swing a golf club, the forces of swinging the club make the club extend and come into alignment with the trailing arm at impact. You can see the top players, uh, all of them at impact have the club at this angle to their arms, and so this orientation. And even though they set up here at impact, it's always here, and it doesn't matter if it's the top pros or any amateurs uh, you're playing with, kids, older people, it doesn't matter. For everybody at impact, the club gets pulled into this orientation. And so I've found in over 25 years of teaching that if people learn to set up already in that position, it greatly simplifies ball striking and hitting a golf shot. And it should be simple to understand that if we're setting up here with the club at an angle to the arms, and then we swing through and, the, and that angle is gone, you can see the club head moves away from the golfer. And that's why people struggle so much with hitting fat and thin shots. So all we're going to do is from your normal setup position, we're going to go to this position where the wrists are in an uncocked position, what's also known as ulnar deviation. So we're going to set up, or you can set up here, put the club up like that, and then put your hands on it and just see that the wrists are in that position. You could pretend to hit something and just do this, make some swings, and then see where the club is in relation to your arms, and then bend down and set up that way. We'll also adjust the hand position on the grip to fit each individual golfer. And so my method is called Setup for Impact, and I have a complete learning system available on my website, and also a membership that allows people to send in videos for my review. But I teach you to set up this way, and then when we make a swing, uh, we want to see that the club is going to be square at impact. So we need the club face square at impact, and we need the hands to be fit to that as opposed to trying to match another golfer. We just want to put them in a position that's going to make it the easiest for you to square the club face through impact without having to manipulate it. Uh, once we're getting set up, we get the hands on the club, uh, then from there, we have one prime directive, and that's what the drill today is going to teach you how to do. Make great impact. To make great impact, we have to have the grip leading the club head on all shots through impact. Now, the driver played off the lead foot. We still have the grip leading the club head, and depending on the type of shot you're going to hit, it may be at impact that the club head catches up to the hands. Certainly not having the club head passing the hands before impact. And for a little bit lower drive, a lot of tour players still have the grip leading somewhat through impact. There's four main reasons for this, and I'm gonna just go into them briefly here. You'll see in some of my other videos on my channel uh, that I go into much more detail. Uh, but when we have the grip leading the club head, we lessen the rotation of the club through impact. So we just need the club face to be moving square through impact from here to here uh, or as square as possible. As opposed to when the club head's passing the hands, you see a lot of rotation. So you can pick up a club right now and check this out and just say, hey, I'm going to do this, look at the club face, how much rotation, and then do this and look at the club face. You'll notice a lot less rotation. And in some of my other videos, I even show you slow motion of tour players, and you see the club coming through impact square. And what you also see is 
that it comes in very shallow and then it's very flat through impact, which is obviously a huge advantage in hitting golf shots if your club's coming in and it's very, very shallow through impact the whole way through versus coming down and up as in most people's swing. So most people are doing that and you can see the club comes up and down. Uh, top players are doing this, the club is very shallow for a long period. So uh, the other uh, included benefit is going to be a straight path through impact. So we have a small area here where the club's moving on a straight line towards the target. And the fourth is centeredness of contact. You could put a ball on a countertop and hold the club like this and you'll see the ball uh, would be making contact very low on the face, tilt the grip forward, and then it's in the middle. So obviously if you're hitting an iron shot from a tee, uh, it's not gonna matter as much, but think of the other three factors of having the face square through impact, the shallow flat spot, uh, and the straight line, obviously all critically important. In order to learn that, this drill, if you do this five minutes for, per day, you're going to greatly improve your ball striking. So what I highly recommend is first learning to move the golf club here from here to here. So from your trailing foot to your leading fit foot, using your body and making sure that the legs are straightening and the hips and upper torso are rotated through impact. So something like that. And what I would just have you do is do this for five minutes a day, just moving the club that way to see it's a straight line. You could slow it down and see it's a square face. The club face is square. It's a nice shallow impact. It's first making contact with the ground uh, at the ball and then beyond. Uh, as for hitting the center of the face, we need to find our distance from the ball. And so you could see where the club head is passing through impact and then put the ball in that position and then make the same motion. We want to see when we finish this drill, and it's a big part of my learning program, when we finish this drill uh, that we have uh, the grip, club, leading arm, leading leg all in alignment. So it's a straight line here down uh, to the club head from my leading shoulder. The hands are leading. We definitely don't want to see that most people doing this drill at first are like that. So we're looking here to go back. And as I'm going back, I'm going to rotate my body through, which creates a little bit of lag. So going back, it creates a little bit of lag and then rotate through. So you may have to slow this down into parts. I have uh, some additional drills built off of this uh, where we're using uh, the trail arm only the lead arm only. But for you do-it-yourselfers out there, uh, just focus on impact, moving the club properly through, uh, checking to see that the hands are leading, moving very slowly first, and that we're getting to our impact position here with our body. Then once you do this five minutes a day for a while, when you go out uh, to the range or you're able to hit some balls with it, make two practice swings and then go to the ball. And when you make contact, the ball's only going here about five yards, uh, but it's critical to understand it's great impact that we're practicing. So once you get really good at it, you can do it right hand, left hand, uh, lead hand, trail hand, uh, and both hands, then you could say, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit farther. I'll make a little bit more swing. So I'll get in my setup position and then maybe make a half a swing. And you'll see if the face is square and the path is good, the balls will fly dead straight. So again, my complete learning program is on my website, setupforimpact.com. You can check it out there. Uh, I have a lot of schools coming up also. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, and uh, again, please subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, click the thumbs up if you like this video. I know it's going to help you considerably if you just put in five minutes a day. Thanks very much for watching. Again, let me know any questions or comments, pop them in the box below. Hope you have a great day.